Welcome to Citizens Dispatch, news for the people, by the people. Brought to you by WorldWideHippies.com. Hi hippies and seekers of truth and justice wherever you are around the globe. This is Glenn Simpson reporting for Worldwide Hippies from Leeds, the heart of England. I spoke last week in a short piece about the effect that the government cuts in expenditure are having, particularly on disabled people and elderly people. In fact, not just in Britain, I know it's the same thing going on in the States and all over Europe. Now, a lady called Glynis Leeton, an old friend of mine, wrote into Worldwide Hippies. She feels exactly the same as I do about the things that are happening. And I suggested that she um, write a piece, which she did. Thank you, Glynis. And Glynis has asked me to narrate for her. This is what's happening in Britain. Here's Glynis's letter. What do you think about the budget, eh? The rich get richer and the poor get poorer, as always. The increase on alcohol under European law are believed to be illegal. The elderly are suffering again. Haven't they worked all their lives? Already paid income tax on those earnings and savings, yet to be taxed again. Oh, she says, I watched the programme on ITV on Thursday about how much your council is charging you. The cost of burial plots has gone up too. We used to have a national health service in Britain that was from cradle to grave. Now, the coalition government are just robbing everybody every day from cradle to grave. As for disabled people, she says, well, I am disabled. I'm waiting for my DLA living allowance to be changed and for my assessment to see just how much money I will lose. I've already lost £19.90 per week, that's $30, from income support because I've always worked and, unfortunately, bought my own home. The government have now cut my income support that relates to mortgage repayments. I have three children, Vinnie says. All grown up, they all work full time, always have. In fact, my son works two jobs, one full-time job, and then on Friday and Saturday nights delivering pizzas, just to put food on the table for his family. Then it continues, I can see more riots taking place, crime will be on the increase because people can't afford to live, and of course the cuts to the policing service. The elderly will die in their own homes through lack of heating and starvation. Families will become homeless because of job losses. Children will be taken into care. This will have an impact more suicide attempts, depression, mental illness. Have the government thought this through, one wonders? But then, the rich get richer. Thank you, Glynis. Excellent. And Glynis is dead right. And Glynis is indicative. She rep represents so many people in this country, decent, hard-working people, people like Glynis, who unfortunately is disabled, and all now being attacked by the government. All being attacked. The money's been taken away. Everything's been cut to the bone. Why? Obviously, we have to pay the banks off. Why? I don't know. Glynis wrote in because Glynis felt strongly about that. And I'm broadcasting it because I feel strongly about it as well. And if you feel strongly about something, come on board with Worldwide Hippies. We'll give you the platform. We're now reaching all around the world. We'll give you the platform and you can have your say. Worldwide Hippies, stay with us. This is Glenn Simpson, Leeds, England, saying peace out. If you are interested in reporting from your spot of the globe, contact Joe at WorldWideHippies.com.